Morning, everyone. It's 842 on this Friday morning, um, and this is your pre-opening comment. It is video number 2143. Uh, Asia was kind of mixed overnight. Um, Europe, a little bit higher. Interest rates continuing to move. When I came down, they were 451, currently 453. And um, the only information that we had this morning uh, are a couple of the uh, banks reporting, but also import and export prices. Uh, import prices were higher at up four tenths of a percent versus uh, expectations and uh, last month uh, up 0.3. Uh, export prices down 1.4. We also have University of Michigan Consumer Confidence at 10 o'clock. Okay, so uh, we had some earnings this morning, and uh, those were in the financial area. J.P. Morgan with a beat, but was down about $4, and a little bit more color and commentary. And right now it's 189 that's down about 6 or 2.7%. So that's actually uh, gotten uh, a little bit worse. Uh, Wells Fargo also with a beat. Uh, the stock uh, is doing not much of anything. Uh, after the uh, number came out, well, let's start where uh, 5669 was yesterday's close, and that was down about a quarter. So after the number came out, we had, uh, you know, a bit of a uh, move up as high as uh, 57 and three quarters. Uh, and then all the way back down to 53, the last is 56.40. And that's down uh, just 29 cents or 0.31. So not a lot of action there. Uh, we also have Black Rock. Uh, that one is uh, 801. 801 is up about 15, which is 1.9%. It was as high as 808. Um, also, uh, let's see, we had uh, AMD, which is lower, um, and Intel, also lower. The AMD is 166.78, and that is down about $4. Uh, the Intel is uh, 36.72, and that is down 91 cents, or about 2.5%. Um, the point there, pretty simple. Uh, we have... Um, China telling carriers to remove foreign technology from chips, which is a negative for both Intel and AMD. That's a Wall Street Journal uh, story. Uh, Apple down 74 cents after yesterday's huge day up. Uh, 174.30 down 74 or four tenths. Uh, they lost its bid to have the UK lawsuit regarding fees for the App Store thrown out. So, um, but really not much in the way of news around. The chart on the screen, however, is the oil, and it has been consolidating, looking uh, so far as just this move to 87.63 and then consolidating uh, between the high of 87.10 and a low uh, which is at the point of breakout from before uh, down here around uh, 83.70 this morning though it's up a dollar 53 at 86.54. So uh, this would be the highest close with the exception of uh, last Friday on the 5th uh, when it closed. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
high close looks like 86.91 last as i've said 86.63 up 161. Um, some of the other stuff going on um, as i mentioned uh, the dow is down about uh let's see well, let's start with the NASDAQ, down about 145. That was down 74, then 80, then 86. Now, as I said, 145. Um, a look at the other indexes. The S&P is down 34, uh, and it was down 15 when I came in, uh, then 17, then 19, as I said, now 34. Uh, the Dow is down 204. Um, remember, it was the only one yesterday that actually did not rally to close up on the day. Um, let's go back here and take a look at some of the other futures. The gold is up big again, 39 and a half. That is over, solidly over. 2400 at 2412 uh silver 29 uh, 28 that's up also a dollar the copper is up about eight cents um as far as uh the grains they're basically unchanged uh cotton down a little coffee up ten dollars which is a huge move i mean that's a three and a half percent move and the sugar continues to sink uh lower uh the dollar is up this is what's really amazing here um, when you look at things like the metals and the oil which are priced in dollars but are traded internationally uh, the dollar has moved dramatically higher this week along with uh, interest rates, but look at where it is here. Uh, I mean, this is a daily. The low for uh, the week was Tuesday, down around 103.65. It's currently trading 105.74. That is a huge move for a major currency over a four or five day period. At the same time, we have, as I mentioned, the gold and the silver up. Uh, Bitcoin not doing much, up about 80, and the bonds getting a little bit of a re relief rally, but they are solidly lower on the week, 115.31, so 152. And so far, that's an inside day after yesterday. And uh, Wednesday's high was 118 and 10 30 seconds yesterday's low is 114 and 29 30 seconds if you'll recall i was looking for it to be weak uh, with support in the 114 116 area and that's where we find ourselves all right folks that's about it um, hope everyone has a nice weekend, and uh, if anything happens that's necessary to put anything out, you will hear from me. Otherwise, you know, just stay in the Discord room, and, uh, you know, there'll be some discussion about a whole bunch of things. Have a good day.